Hey guys, Mr. Happy here, and welcome to Final Fantasy XIV of Rumbleborn 101. This episode, kind of should have done this yesterday, but uh, you know what, I figured it couldn't hurt. A lot of people actually already know about this, so I'm just going to be uh, doing a quick, quick video on it, and that's Guild Leaves. Guild Leaves are these uh, short little daily quests with uh, varying goals that are unlocked around level 10. You'll know that if you watch yesterday's episode. As you're progressing through the main storyline, you'll eventually unlock them. There's no way you can miss it. They'll even point you to the NPC that actually gives you the quests. But I'm sure there are still people who, even after unlocking that, don't really know what it's for. So that's what this video will cover. This video will go over the basics of uh, what they are, how they can be done, who can do them, and what they reward you with. So first of all, let me just state that I've already called said there's short quests that unlock them level 10. However, a lot of people don't seem to know that leaves can be done by any class in the game. Regardless of whether you're a battle class, uh, a crafting class, or a gathering class, there's leaves for everybody, so don't feel like these are specific to your battle classes. Um, each quest costs one allowance. As you can see here on the list, we have what are called allowances. It doesn't tell you what your maximum is, but I can tell you your maximum is 99. Each quest costs one of these. If you fail the quest and you want to retry it, it will also cost an additional allowance. You get four of these allowances per day, but they stack up to 99, as I said. So if you waited several months, you could actually have up to 99 of these ready, and you could spam them all on one class if you really, really wanted to level that way. Uh, you're allowed to hold 16 of these guild leaves at once though which is a, which is very strange i don't know a time when anyone will actually have 16 unless they grab four for gathering four for crafting four for they'd have to grab four on multiple types of classes and even then they'd probably have to go to an additional location in order for this to happen uh so once you have your four quests let's say you're uh let's say you're just a warrior you're uh you're a marauder you're something and you select your four battle quests and uh you're like okay where am I going to go? How do I do this? How do I activate this? Well, after selecting one, if you look on your map, there'll be a designated area. Uh, you go to that designated area, and then you go to your journal. Now, for those of you who don't actually use the journal, because there are a lot of people who don't, just press J, and uh, you'll, it'll come up with a list of quests, and you'll have your list of uh, leave quests on top of everything else. Uh, once you've done this, simply uh, go to the quest that you want to initiate, click the word initiate, and then a prompt will come up. A prompt will come up asking you uh, if you really want to activate it. It'll also ask you um, what level range you want to make the quest. Now, when you accept the quests, they're usually at a base level like 20 or 25 or 30. But because there's disparity, someone could be level 27, they don't want to do a level 25 quest. You can actually increase the difficulty, which will essentially just increase the level of the monsters you're fighting, to be equal to or greater than your level. This can increase the rewards gained on a per monster level and is really for people who want to get the most experience per monster. Once you've done that, you also uh, get a, a difficulty bonus, by the way, if your difficulty is of a certain rank. So um, after you've done that, uh, you'll start. Again, let's just say you're a battle class and your goal is to kill a bunch of monsters. This isn't the only goal there can be. There's usually some sort of obscure goal in mind, whether you're escorting something or you're putting something to sleep. A lot of the times it involves killing monsters and then protecting other ones. Um, once you've done that, there are a few things you have to look out for. The first one are bonus enemies. Occasionally when you're doing your mission, you'll get a message saying that a bonus enemy has appeared. Uh, if this bonus enemy appears, then your best bet is to try and kill them. Sometimes, if you're being a little bit ambitious with the level of your leave, they can be difficult, uh, especially if you don't have any sort of sustained abilities like Second Wind or Cure. But uh, if you're able to uh, complete them, you will actually get a bonus at the end of the round, which I will go over when I speak to you about your rewards. Uh, also, you just want to be on the look out for treasure chests. Uh, these leaves actually have a knack for leaving dungeon grade gear within the leave itself, but you have to be looking out for the treasure chest. There's going to be no indication of where it is during the leave, if there's even one at all. So if you see one, definitely do whatever you can to pick it up. It could give you some really great dungeon grade gear. Um, other than that, just worry about completing your task. You know, whatever your task might be, just worry about completing it. And once you've done that, then you'll get to reap your rewards. Now, in order to uh, accept the rewards from a guild leave, you actually have to return to where you accepted it. Now, the game will give you an automatic teleport for that. But if you have multiple leaves in an area, I recommend saying no until you complete the fourth one so you can go get all of the rewards at the same time. Don't worry, if you don't press yes, those rewards will still be waiting there for you at the NPC. Even months later, trust me, because at 1.0, I did that. I left some rewards on a... On a a leave mate and uh, I went back like a couple months later and they were still there uh, but anyway uh, you'll get some rewards you get some pretty decent experience you'll get some gill you'll get some bonus experience if the difficulty was high there used to be a speed of completion bonus but in the beta I haven't been seeing that despite the fact that I've been 
clearing through these things pretty quickly. Um, and one last thing is, if there was a piece of gear or there was a bonus monster available in your uh, leave, then most of the time you'll be rewarded with some form of gear, which is always good. You can spear bond it, you can uh, you can put it on if you needed that slot. It's just useful to be able to get these kind of things from your daily quests. But anyway, that's all you really need to know about leaves. Uh, I know I didn't go into uh, field, field and uh, gathering. I didn't get into a lot of the crafting and gathering leaves. But for the most part, it'll be just gather this or craft this and they'll give you the supplies for those things i believe the crafting ones aren't in the game yet but they are there and they have been in the past so expect them to come soon but uh until then this is where we'll leave it uh that's what you have to do for all three of the classes you either have to kill escort or gather or craft that's essentially what you have to do so anyway thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please like favorite subscribe and share especially if you have a friend who doesn't really know how the guild leave system works uh, and he just he wants to know maybe uh, there's one question that he might have and where do you get uh, higher level guild leaves go to higher level zones you'll get higher level guild leaves very simple answer for that good thing I thought about that right before end of the video and uh, check out my Facebook at www.facebook.com slash mr happy one two two seven you can go there and ask me all sort of questions like what where do I get higher level guild leaves I think I've had that one once or twice now and uh, well I hope I just answered it for you uh, and you can also uh, request videos and just you can uh, shoot my brain a little bit uh, you know just pick at it see what I think about certain things a lot of people have been doing that and a lot of people are really appreciating that I actually get back to most of the people who leave comments or messages in my Facebook or on my YouTube but anyway guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video tune in tomorrow because tomorrow is another highly requested episode thank you guys take care